question here uh, about, you know, if you make posts on social media with your own picture or with another pic, some other picture. So it's either your own picture or some cute picture of a, you know, animal or of a scenery. Of course, those are going to get more likes. I actually count those out of my social media stats. Mm. And that's also why I never put post pictures of myself because it's unfair. It's, it's not, it's everyone is going to support you when you post a picture of yourself. Truly, honestly, like even if it's not a good picture of me, my fans are going to support me. <laughs> they're going to they're be nice. They're going to be polite. Ah, like, 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 even if they never read the message, right? That's the problem with posting nice either pretty pictures, pretty pictures of myself or non-pretty pictures of myself, I don't care. Selfies will get above average likes. So I never use selfies on social media. I, 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 unless I just wanna ask people, hey, which photo do you like better? Or unless it's, but I, I think if the problem is that it throws off the algorithm. Like if, if somebody posts selfies or other pretty pictures on a regular basis mixed in, with their message-based content throws off the algorithm, right? Because it's like, it's like every time you post a selfie or some pretty picture, it's just gonna go boom, lots of likes. And then you post uh, you know, a, some thoughtful message that's helping to uplift your audience about your, your expertise, low. And then you post your offers even lower. That, that's the, there are two boundaries here that I, that I ignore. Selfie photos, pretty pictures, and offer, those should not be in the same stats. Anything time you sell something, you go, how come I never, I don't, not you, I, but true for everybody, actually pretty much, pretty much everyone. Every time I sell, when I announce my thing coming up, my services, it's always gets fewer likes than, than even my message. That's normal, everyone, everyone has that. Everyone has that. So you, you have to kind of like, that's, a, that's the own class. Right, that's its own class to compare. You compare apples to apples. You've got apples, you've got oranges, you got you know what's your favorite fruit? You know pineapple. <laughs> you can't you can't compare the three together. You have to compare them separately. Its own spreadsheet tab, for example. Um, but yeah, but that's why. I, but again, the problem is that if you if you post selfies, lots of likes. You post non selfies, down depressed. <laughs> and then it, basically when you post non-selfies, Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn will know not to, not to show it to as many people because they have the data that every, hey, every time you post non-selfies, your audience doesn't like it as much as your selfies. So we're going to distribute it to fewer people. When you post selfies, we'll distribute it to more people because we know your audience likes it. Dangerous. So that's why I post strictly these two. Now, I don't post mm. selfies and pretty pictures. I, I post strictly mind-changing, heart-uplifting content or buy my stuff. I only post these two. Because then, guess what? Both get elevated right, to the normal or high level. right? George, how, how do your messages you know, on Instagram, right? George, on Instagram, you are ridiculous because... You know, um, uh, hopefully this will work. Okay, on Instagram, you're ridiculous. You like make people read these ridiculously long messages on Instagram. Who wants to do that? Everyone just wants to see your pretty pictures or pictures of you. Guess what? Because I trained the algorithm, I tra essentially I trained my audience to say, hey, listen, I'm not gonna give you anything else other than long messages and long messages in video form. So I'm going to give you, you got to make a choice. Look how many, I just posted this today, 109 likes already. Out of 5,000 followers, it's not bad. 158 likes, 209, out of 5,000, 6,000 followers, that's not, that's quite good, better than average. My videos, 281 views, 252 views. That's quite good for, 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 for my stats. So anyway, <laughs> off so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious um, though are you like you're saying like you train the algorithm slash you yes. train yes. the audience same like, thing is training the algorithm thing. and training the audience is the same thing because the uh, the algorithm studies the audience's reactions to oh. you so so in other words if you currently are just like most people teach instagram or social media 
pictures of yourself, right? You've spoiled the algorithm for now, but mm. you can retrain the algorithm mm. by retraining your, but it's actually, I want to say that it's easier to retrain the algorithm than to retrain your audience, to be honest. Retraining the audience might take months. Retraining the algorithm only takes weeks. Mm. So if you, if you turn off the spigot of your nice photos, your, your, your selfie photos are great. Turn off the spigot of that and just post message-based stuff that are more likely to get people to say, gosh, you've changed my mind. You've uplifted my heart. How do I work with you? Now, also, I hope you're making videos too, because then your image shows up in videos. Your, your, your energy shows up in videos. But videos is better for, for, for nurturing potential clients because it's not just you as a pretty picture, but it's you connecting with them. And that's who they're going to see when they work with you, right? They're going to see your moving face and your talk, you know, so it's much, it's closer mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. actual product. Right. Right. Yeah. I haven't started making videos yet. I'm pretty terrified. Marie, I think you're going to do great. Oh, I think you're a natural. You. So. Okay. It's the growth edge. It is. It is. And uh, you have plenty of good stuff to share. So start experimenting. And in terms of making videos, I always tell people like if, yes, of course, it's intimidating um, before we start. And so it might be helpful to gather a group of like, small group of like, two, three, five colleagues, friends, people you really trust to be unconditionally supportive. Mm -hmm. And you also be unconditionally supportive of them. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, can we create our own, own little video, video challenge here? Mm -hmm. Let's commit. Let's challenge each other to say, let's make 50 videos. Mm -hmm. Now, don't have to give a time frame. Doesn't have 50 videos in 50 days. <laughs> that's, that's very stressful. Mm -hmm. But it could be, let's make 50 videos in the next year. Now, some of us might do it faster. Let's say how fast we can do it, but we're gonna say, just give us a, that's one video a week. That's not too, that's not too many, I think. And it doesn't have to be super long. It doesn't have to be super short, right? It's, it's harder for me. It's, I, that's, I don't do 15 second videos. It's really hard for me to do it. Um, but I could do five, seven, 10 minute videos. It's easy, it's long enough, spacious enough for me, you know, anyway. So mm -hmm. hope that helps. Cool.